So we're going to fix a problem that we deal with in dentistry, which is the chip of an anterior tooth. And I've developed a product that is designed to anchor the filling into position. And so we will clean the space. We'll rinse it. Then we'll use a, a clear matrice to isolate the area. Okay, with it isolated, we will now take the burr that comes with the kit. It's a micro pear shaped burr, and it's about two millimeters long, and it's slightly larger, larger in diameter than the device that we'll be inserting. And it is a diamond, so you'll have multiple uses with this burr. Put this in the handpiece. The reason we use a burr is that it's easier to cut through dentin and enamel. We use this burr. We'll make a small hole in this space. I like to acid etch that space to make sure we don't have any tooth fragments in the hole. Let that sit for a few seconds. Rinse it. Now one of the beauties of this particular system is it is compatible with any composite resin and any adhesive system that you may have. It also will accept any curing wavelength of any light that you may own. We will prime and bond. We're using some 3M products and it just follow the manufacturer's suggested times. Now this young lady's tooth has been broken multiple times and repair attempts have been made multiple times. This is a hard place to keep a filling. We air dry it. So now what we've done is we have developed this special fiber optic fiber. It's designed specifically for this application. It has very similar properties as her natural tooth structure. So it will flex, move with her tooth, and it supports the filling and anchors it to the tooth itself. So we'll have both mechanical and chemical retention with this. It is prepared, again, as I stated earlier, that it will accept any bonding agents or uh, glues that you may have in your office. So we'll prime and bond. There's a handle, we always would encourage you to make sure that you have floss inserted on the handle. And then I like, I've inserted these with just the prime and bond, but I also like to use flowable composite to anchor it into the tooth. So we'll use that with this technique, but either way works great. So I'll have my assistant put a little dot right on the tip of this, and then I'll insert it two millimeters into the tooth itself. and then we'll cure it. Now one of the advantages of this fiber optic fiber is it takes the light and transmits it to the base of the preparation. So my curing depth is deeper as well. So now the glass pin is inserted into the tooth. Now to trim the glass pin, we use the same burr that we used to make the initial hole, and all that we need to do is score the edge, and then it immediately removes to the proper depth that we'd like for this restoration. We just have to score it just a little bit. There it is. Now we'll just proceed with whatever composite resin that you're using in your office. Now this product is exceptionally good for the anteriors because it changes the adhesive stress from a shear to more of a compressional strength. And it allows the filling to stay in place. I have also placed these in the posterior. It works in any part of the mouth. I've used multiple glass pins to act as scaffolding to rebuild teeth. This product has a 
10-year track record in my office, and I have them in about 160 different patients over the years. This also is an amazing product for wear facets, especially in the molars, where you have the dished out enamel and it's just dental, dental exposed tissue. You insert this right in the center of it and then build around it and they just don't fall out. Now with the big anterior repair, especially in the, in the maxillary, it's amazing how bright the filling is with the glass inside of the tooth. Also, it's invisible. You cannot see any of the repair that we've done. Now we will check her bite. Does it feel a little tall? Probably does. Okay, I'm just going to have you tap and grind on this paper I have in your mouth. Go ahead and close. Bite and grind. Okay. Perfect. Now we'll polish it, and she is done.